All right, my friend, now very quickly, before we dive into mixing this song, I first want to give you an overview and an understanding of the system that I'm about to show you. So what you're going to learn here in step seven of this course is my mixing system that I have been developing, that I've been really thinking through and working on. Uh, that way I, it's, it's very presentable. That way it's, it's very structured and it makes sense from an education perspective, right? Um, because I want to be able to make things as clear as possible. And I don't want to be like it was in the first round of step seven when I first recorded step seven of this course. I was kind of all, all over the place. I just kind of winged it and it didn't end up working out too well. And so learning from my mistakes, I want to do better. And I want to give you a five-step mixing system. So that's what you're going to learn here in step seven of this course is a five-step mixing system. And now this isn't just like, oh, I need to put together a mixing system so I can teach it and five steps is cool. So let's just do that. And then kind of, you know, it's it might sound like there's potential for artificially just putting it together and it actually doesn't have... Uh, any sort of utility behind it. But that's not true. There's there's a real methodology and it really, really will make sense to you once I explain it and once we dive into mixing this course. So first of all, the five-step system is comes from a variety of places. The first place I looked is just my own workflow, like my own experience. How do I tend to mix? So I had to like reflect on my own process and be like, okay, this tends to lead to this and then this, and then I kind of back, okay, so then, you know, so you figure it out, you connect the dots, and that gave me one map, if you will. And then I also, because I know that, you know, it's not just about me and my workflow, I also, I want to make it as presentable and as um, broad and as far reaching, so as to help as many of you guys as possible. And so I've also been in a, I've really, over the past few months, I've been in a period of trying to really educate myself by people who have gone before me, people who know more than me, people who have been in music for a longer time than I have. And so uh, I've been going through a lot of things, taking a lot of notes, and that has also helped shape my mixing process because it helps me understand, okay, how does Joe Gilder work when he mixes. Okay, so now I know his system. Let me kind of use that as a reference. Uh, how does Dave Pensado work? Okay, let me use that as a reference, right? So I've I've been taking these, these influences as well as my own experience, my own workflow, and I've been narrowing it down and structuring it so that it's maximally helpful to you. That's the whole point, is to give you a system that allows you to get better mixes, that allows you to, as counterintuitive as this sounds, that allows you to be more creative. That might sound crazy to you, that boxing things into a system makes you more creative. And while, sure, that engine might run out of gas, you know, if you take that concept and you squeeze it, there comes a point where that's, you know, it, it doesn't last. But I, I think, especially when you're first learning a skill, when you have a step-by-step system, when you have an outline, when you have a structure to it, it is amazing how that helps you become more creative, especially in the short term to kind of take you to that next level uh, with your skill level and your creativity. And I think that's just because it, it actually allows you, it gives you focus. It, it helps you focus on the things and you actually know what those things are. See, the problem with creativity, if it isn't boxed in, then you're just dealing with a universe, a universe of potential ideas and things that you could try out. And there's this John Mayer quote that you may have already heard me talk about before, of where he talks about how he has a hard time or he finds it really difficult to write about really large concepts like, you know, the universe. But what he's found as a songwriter is when he writes about, you know, the size of a glass, like a glass of water, if he lets that sit for a day, he'll come back and realize, oh, the universe is in that tiny, tiny little concept. And that is what it's like. 
if you give just a little bit of structure around the skill you're trying to learn, especially in music, and this applies to songwriting, production, all of it, just because you're not going to use that uh, precise system to the letter forever, learning it and really positioning yourself to learn from it is going to help you actually be more creative, make better decisions, and at the end of it, which is the whole point of this, just have better mixes, better songs to release to Spotify, or whatever the plan is for the music that you're making. So let's dive into the five-step system and let's throw this song at it and let's see if it works. So here we go. 